Matt the camera guy here and welcome to Octane Addicts TV where we are here at the Friday Eve of the Backyard 400 and I am going to give you a little taste of what's been going on all week as you can see the famous row of brick Travis has got the boom box out and there is a quarter mile is it a quarter or is it a third? I think it's maybe a third, a third mile go-kart track. So stay with me. Here's some sights and sounds since I've landed in Indiana with Grandmaster Travis Bell and Dan Dillon been taking care of me. So here's some sights and sounds. Stay tuned. We will have coverage of the Backyard 400 Octane Addicts TV. Oh, yeah. oh no, you're in this too. You're you're in this whole weekend, Dan Dillon. You're gonna be a big part of it. All right, let me do my hair. Interviews and everything. Uh, fire. Oh, nice. Is she gonna do it? Is she gonna do it? Man. 421 of 1986. I've never been molested until this I got here. This was done on first, first shift. Yeah. Time of day, 910 was the second inspection. The mold number. Yeah. Well, probably, this is probably the guy's ID number, like whoever it was. 810 in the morning, first shift. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, we need to call him and yeah, tell yeah, him that his... Your phone blowing up? Do you need, are you getting this whole set right now? We are wiring the up. The hands of Travis Bell. Look at that. We are wiring, wiring the place. Light work. And Dan Dillon out here putting up the braking zones. There's Dan chauffeuring around. Where are we going next, Dan? We're going to set up some more braking zones. The entry into uh, one and two. So here we are doing uh, grounds maintenance <laughs> at Bell Acres <laughs> on a uh, beautiful Thursday afternoon. Oh, yeah. Uh, can't have any better weather. We're looking for 80 degrees and sunny on Saturday, big race day coming up. Uh, all these uh, braking zones are uh, 20 foot out from the start, the entry of the corner. That's where you'll see your number one. And it means you are 20 foot from the entry to the corner. Five is 100 foot away. You're gonna go five, four, three, two, one. 20 foot increments all the way into these corners. Pow! And that is your tech tip. Tech tip. From Indy Dan. See ya. Matt the camera guy here and we are getting ready for the Backyard 400. Indy Dan and I have been getting the braking zones prepared and the sponsors are starting to show up. Oh man, we're having a blast. You got to see inside this thing though. <laughs> Look at this. Stay tuned, folks. We're having a blast here. 
stay tuned folks we're having a blast here in the backyard 400. All right, Mark, I have been working on your cart this morning on the Friday Eve of the Backyard 400. I got you some new brakes on there. We are waiting for the hub assembly. We're gonna have to change your air cleaner, it looks like. She's nasty. What else we gotta do? I think we'll probably jet it today and Spence will be here to test it or I'll run it this afternoon and get it ready for him. So, but there she is. I don't know what it is with me and the rusty car. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we are coming off the front stretch into turn one here for the Backyard 400 here at Travis Bell's house in Indianapolis. And right there, ladies and gentlemen, that is what the grand prize of the winner of the Backyard 400 gets. A slightly gently used Z34 Chevrolet Cavalier. Let's take a look at this thing. Check out the wheels on this thing. Woo! That's, woo! That has to be custom from Chevrolet. Oh yeah, look at that. Little front end shot. She's a beaut, Clark. Let's see what uh, the inside of this thing. Oh, look at that. That must mean it's fast. Let's see if we can get in this thing. Convertible. Mark Spence, you'll be able to drop the top. Oh yeah, look at this thing. Custom rear view mirror. And when you open the door, the winner will realize that there is a slight odor in here. It smells like stale cigarettes and Cheetos. But I'll tell you right now, she ain't bad. She ain't bad at all. Well, I guess, Mark Spence, when you win this thing, you'll drive me back to South Carolina in it. I don't want to be behind it. 